Sometimes when you fall down in life, the best thing to do is just to try again, even if you know you're going to fall. But the sad point is, you, you keep falling. You need someone else to help you up. I know how he feels. I know how he feels. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we entered Seon City, a city who, who has been brought to its knees by this blight. By this illness that has just been an onslaught for them. Everywhere you look, everywhere you turn, there are some villagers succumbing to some form of illness, some sort of trial. Um, but last episode we were able to help with some of their troubles by helping the head carpenter, Naguri, uh, restore water to the canal, restoring a uh, supply of fresh water to the capital. This episode, we're going to be hopefully crossing over the bridge, in uh, Gojo Bridge, into the aristocratic quarter uh, in order to possibly talk to Queen Himiko about what's going on. Hopefully she can help. But first, let's go ahead and grab this chest that I saw in the end slate of last video, but I didn't want to grab it because that would, would have just extended an already long episode. So, uh, let's go ahead and go to Gojo Bridge and talk to uh, the bridge keep okay let us go uh, Benkai is his name so let's go ahead and talk to Benkai and hopefully supply what he wants because if you remember he said he wouldn't lower the bridge until the water was filled and he had that item also I just want to want I'm just wondering does that draw distance thing still happen with that oh yeah it does see the ship down there I just move over here and it phases into reality also whoa you guys, you guys see that? Whoa, let me get to a higher point. I know I'm kind of uh, distracting from what we're supposed to be doing, but you guys saw that, right? Over there? Uh, if I had to guess, that is the source of the illness. That stationary tornado. Huh. Well, I'll have to check that out when we get to the aristocratic quarter. <laughs> At last, the time is near. Benkai, the fisherman monk, shall lay claim to his 1,000th sword. Wandering warrior monk, Benkai. I have traveled far and wide, tra challenging master swordsmen. And 99 swords I have, have I claimed by my own hand. But now that I have defeated all, the, the, all who would dare challenge me, that last sword has eluded me. I need but one more sword, uh, one more to make 1,000. And thus, aimlessly, I, I have wandered. That is, until a legend drew me to Seon City. It is said that a living sword lies in the depths of Lake Biwa. Interesting. Have you heard the legend about Lake Biwa? Even I could barely believe it when I first heard. But they say a living sword swims freely about in these waters. If true, it would make a fitting addition as my 1,000th sword. This bridge is a very special contraption. With one command, I can make it passable and the other impassable. As you can see, it makes for a fine place to fish. It grieves me to cut off access to the city, but I'm afraid this bridge shall stay this way while I fish for the living sword. Of course, that may be easier said than done. Why? This is no mere fishing trip for me. This is a true battle with the living sword. Therefore, I must arm myself with the right weapon. That fishing rod over at the tool dealer in town would be perfect. Oh, you should see it. It's the purest of white, like new fallen snow. There is no chance of victory without that rod. Alas, it would appear that I cannot afford it. Oh, what am I to do? Hmm. Well, we can afford it because we are a rich wolf. So let's go ahead and go to the shop and buy that weapon for... Or not weapon, but that fishing rod for him. Well, I guess you could call it a weapon if he's going to be quote-unquote fighting with it. Interesting thing about uh, Benkai, he is actually a reference to mythology. Uh, Benkai is from the same story that Waka originates, and uh, he, in the story, he was guarding over Gojo Bridge, and he was doing the exact same thing that he is now. He was waiting for the 1,000th sword. He had, been, he had stationed himself on that bridge so that any swordsman that would pass, he would fight them and then take their sword. And the 
on his 1,000th battle, um, he fought with Waka, and Waka defeated him. So Ben Kai, out of honor, he decided to become Waka's uh, retainer, or basically his servant. So yeah, that is Ben Kai's reference to mythology. Also, we have enough weapon, not weapon. We have enough. Wait. Why? Wait a minute. Question. Why did he not have the fishing rod? I. Oh, now he does. What? Do you guys see that? He didn't have the fishing rod at first. Maybe I was just blind. But anyway, blinding snow. That seems like the fishing rod uh, Ben Kai wants. So let's go ahead and buy that. I am just short of the of the funds I need to buy that last gold dust at the weapon dealer. As soon as I get 3,000 more yen, I will buy that. So I'm. I'm not just leaving it there. I feel really kind of incomplete without buying two at once. I guess just the OCD, or rather, sorry, CDO, alphabetical order, uh, Niss and me. Okay, so let's go ahead and return to Ben Kai with his fishing rod. Now you guys can probably guess, since he did say fishing, this is probably going to be a fishing minigame. I mean, I'm not, sh I'm not knowledgeable for certain, but I do believe that it will be a fishing minigame. This is no mere fishing trip for me. This is a true battle with the living sword. I must therefore arm myself with the right weapon. That fishing rod, okay, he says the same thing. Does he say anything else since we have it? Oh, what am I do? Hmm? Th th that's... That's blinding snow, the rod from the tool dealer. With that fine rod, I would at last have a chance against the living sword. Now be a good doggy and give it here. Offer blinding snow? Sure. We have no use for it. Oh, happy day. I have never fished before. Then why is he called a fisher, uh, fisherman monk? I don't know. That's very strange. Maybe he just liked the word. Or, no, he's fishing for swords. Duh. But it should not be much different from a good sword fight. Now, to catch that 1,000th sword, I shall engage in mortal combat with that elusive living sword. Can we help? Hmm? I've been holding my rod over this water for some time now. He he held his rod over that water for not even one full second. He, man, this is the most impatient guy in the world. However, the living sword is yet to bite. But you know what they say, patience is a virtue. But it's a boring virtue. I, I'd rather just have skill as my virtue so I could... Or, or uh, as some people have, luck. Even though there's no such thing as luck. But some people, chance, I guess seems to favor them. I shall sit here as long as it takes. Ami. Uh, Hoodheads here is never gonna let us across at this rate. Time for some of that angling magic of yours. Show them how you do it. Fish that living sword out of this lake. Help catch the living sword? Yes, I will. Bah. Hoodhead sure is a handful. I wonder if there really is such a thing as a living sword anyway. Okay, Ami. You got the basic idea, right? Draw a line from the tip of the... Yes, we we have done this like four times before. I, I know how to do this. Okay, let's go ahead and do what we did before because that uh, yielded some fruit, or rather fish. Let's go ahead and do the thing to all of them. Let us catch all of them. I think I hooked something. Uh, no duh. Go for it, hoodhead. Pull, pull. Don't let it get away. Yes, I, I hooked all of the fish. Now I can reel them all in. Okay, come on, come on. Come up, come up, there we go. A killer fish, I believe. Because we're playing Animal Crossing and this completely translates back to Animal Crossing. Yes, it is a killer fish. And next is going to be a bigger fish. Uh, well, all of them. <laughs> I like doing all of them, it just, or none. That works too, how could I have possibly done none? There we go. You won't get away from me. No, you won't, or rather me. Yes, he knows how to pull. He he definitely knows pulling. Pulling is how he rolls. Or how he pulls, rather. Okay, pull. And. And. Fish. Fish. What do you. There we go. The fish took a long time. That fish was just like, oh, I don't really want to. I just kind of want to go to Arby's and uh, get their, their uh, crab cakes. Even though I'm a fish, I. I like crab, and I also like sushi, so uh, give me some crab cakes, even though Arby's I don't think carries crab cakes. Go for it, hoodhead. Pull, pull. Okay, let's see if this is the living sword. It shouldn't be that much of a challenge. I've fished many times before in my 
actual life, so this should come natural to me, and it did. Although this is a very hard fish to fry because he requires multiple power slashes, so let's go ahead and just keep pulling. It doesn't matter if, if Benkai loses a little bit of health, he's used to this sort of stuff, as am I because I am doing this with relative ease. I used to be really bad at this, but it's really just a reaction command. It's almost like a quick... It actually kind of is a quick time event. Just whenever he turns around, just keep on him. Don't let up ever, and you can catch him very easily. And is this the living sword? It is a fish, but... No, you did. You caught Cutlass Fish, the living sword. The gods be praised. At last. At last I have fulfilled my dream. So, that is the living sword? That is what I've been pursuing all this time? Aw, don't take it so hard. I mean, that was one big cutlass fish. And a cutlass is a kind of a sword, isn't it? Plus, what are the odds of catching an ocean fish in a lake? Spare me such solace. But enough about that. A monk never goes back on his word. I shall make this jigsaw bridge passable once more. By sitting down! If only things in our government could be done by just sitting down. Man, how many things would be done? Cancer would be cured by now if we could solve stuff just by sitting down. I have come to realize how foolish my, obses my obsession with swords is. But fishing, now that is a most worthy pursuit. Now that you have a fishing rod for it, uh, have fun with that. Fishing is a very worthy pursuit, even though it takes a ton of patience. Hunting arguably takes more patience, though. I hunt, by the way. I'm not sure if I ever mentioned that, but I love hunting. And fishing. But mostly hunting. Whoa, stop, Ami. I thought this mist was coming from the lake or mountains. So, what's that stuff rising from the Imperial Callus? Palace? Let's uh, let's keep going, Furball. Imperial Callus. Uh, make of that what you will. Also, that is Waka over there. Waka. Well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. What took you so long, ma chere? Ah, not you again. Well, you can't fool us. We're not going to forget what you did to us back at Orochi's cave. And why do you keep popping up wherever we are anyway? What are you up to this time? Hmm? Excuse moi but I have no time to follow you around. You see, I'm busy looking for something. Bah, some prophet you are. Shouldn't you already know where to look? Well, maybe look isn't the right word. I already know where it is. It's just... Getting there is proving to be a bit of a problem. Suffice it to say, I want it quick and easy. Quick and easy? Wait a sec. Don't tell me you're behind this funky mist. Is this part of the plan to conquer the city and take over the world? <laughs> you're already up to no good, so I wouldn't be surprised. The world? Not bad, my little bouncing friend. You're only half wrong. I seek the other world. I desire a path to the heavens. A path to the heavens? Oh, stop beating around the bush and let us know what's on your mind. <laughs> this path concerns you too, Mashare. Huh? This city is in quite a bad state, is it not? Especially this ghastly mist that torments its people. You think we're stupid? We see right through you, pretty boy. Ha! We got you all figured out. This funky mist and your so-called path to the heavens. You're in cahoots with Queen Himiko! A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So just take it step by step. You must first deal with this mist. It is slowly but surely killing the people of the city. Wait too long, and it's au revoir. The damage will already be done. Why you, talking about it like it's someone else's problem. You're behind it all. Admit it already! Even if I was, what good would come out of arguing about it here? Methinks you should be doing something about the mist now. How about a trip, a uh, tip this time instead of a prophecy? Go through the hole in the wall, little ones. Okay. Ahem. Let me put it this way: even the even the most solid defense has a tiny gap, like the eye of a needle, or something like that. Understand, Mashere? Uh, not really. The poisonous mist is quite dangerous. 
Wait too long, and it's au revoir. Oh, he says the same thing. Yes, he says exactly the same thing. Although we get to see him dance an infinite amount of times, which is arguably one of the best things in the game. Okay, let's go ahead and skip past this text because he said all of this before. Wait. Oh, and he, I didn't catch it, but he soon uh, told Ami to stop talking to this guy. So, this is the first time we can interact with Waka like we could with any normal NPC. So, I think we should put uh, Waka through the normal paces. First, we should tackle him. Or not. He Apparently, Waka can turn ethereal and just go Dragon Ball Z and just move out of the way without even moving in place. I have no idea how. Uh, Power Slash, let's try that. He blocks it at the speed of light. Waka, you're not letting me have my fun. Uh, Splot. Okay, it happens for a brief moment, but he quickly gets rid of it. Uh, let's make him happy. That doesn't even work. Uh, I'm running out of... Tr wind. Nothing. Uh, bomb? Bomb? No, oh, sorry. Bomb? Nothing. Do we have fire? I want to set this guy on... F where's fire? I need fire. I want to set wa Waka. Why did you get rid of all the... T you knew we were going to do this. Wa Fire's obviously your weakness, and you're not giving me fire, so I get... Uh, you know, stacking the odds in your favor before a battle even begins, a battle as epic as this one, is not right. Especially when you do what you're doing now by setting up smoke and mirrors so I can't even hit you. It's all tricks, and you're a dirty trickster, and if I had the time, I'd see through your tricks, destroy all your mirrors, and find out where you really are, because you're obviously not here, and also find fire and set you on... Sorry. Ahem. Uh, what, were, what were we doing? Uh, ignore that. That is a bad man. Do not look at him, guys. Uh, if you are watching right now, look away from the screen because that is a bad man. Don't look at him. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's talk to these people and not look the bad man. I wonder how much longer it'll be before it's my turn. This horrible choking mist is driving me crazy. I'm lucky if I can get any work done at all lately. I have to come and see Rao at least once a day to stay sane. Hmm. So, they're in line to see Rao. Rao is the head of Ankoku Temple outside the city, but she's come all the way here to help us. She always makes the effort to see to come when we need her, and she's extraordinarily beautiful too. I feel a thousand times better just looking at her. Hmm. Seems like my kind of girl. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Whoa, bro. Hey. Uh. How you doing? Uh, you may want to get the marbles out of your mouth before you talk. Anyway, I came to listen to Rao's sermon again today. My old back's been terrible since that weird mist came along. And Rao's sermons make me feel like better in an instant. You also have a bee sting problem um, on your cheeks, which should be looked at. You, ma'am. Oh, I missed what she said. Rao's been hurt. I missed completely what she said. She's so luck lucky, looking, always looking so beautiful and young. If only I could say the same thing about myself. Uh, let's talk to her again so I can see what she said the first time. Have you been to Ankoku Temple? It's really something, just like Rao herself. She's so Okay, so she is just insanely jealous of Rao. So if she's insanely jealous of Rao, man, Rao must be one stunning gal. <clears throat> I, I need to s stop talking. <laughs> this is the lecture hall one where the regent, Miss, or regent? Regent? I don't know. Miss Rao gives her sermons. She bestows guidance on people who have lost their way. Don't worry, Mutt. Miss Rao doesn't discriminate. You'll get your turn if you go to the end of the line and wait. That. Okay. Ha! Even dogs are coming to he hear, hear Miss Rao speak. Look at the crowd she draws in. They're all waiting to hear her comforting words. Some of them might not have the purest of mo motives, of course. She's incredibly beautiful, so it's to be expected. If only I didn't have to stand guard, I could meet with her too. Hmm. Well, they're really not doing a good job of guarding. They're just kind of just decor. Also, that moment when you realize that these two guards are actually just reskins of each other, of each other or recolors, because this guy is just this guy, but redder. Uh... It looks like you. <laughs> it looks like you slapped him in the face really hard, so he's kind of he's kind of pink right now. So just ignore him till his face turns 
normal, and it will, and then you won't be able to tell the difference between the two Mario type people. Okay, um, let me real quick look around here to see if there's anything for us. Is this a door we can go in? No, it is not. It is locked, but what, around, what about around here? That is locked too. Okay, so let's go ahead and go in here and hopefully get to get a glimpse of Rao, because they said she's really beautiful, so that intrigues me, and it probably intrigues Isun even more. Let's go. There she is. Also, wow, scrolls. Those are a lot of scrolls. Man, you're you're a bookworm, Rao. I haven't even talked to you. I'm just glancing about your place. You are a bookworm, and I would marry you just because I'm a bookworm, too. Well, who would have thought there'd be a wolf in here of all places? The world is in turmoil. Have you come to listen to one of my sermons, Wolf? Then allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rao. I'm the regen of Seon City, appointed by Queen Himiko herself. This game is rated T for Teen. Priestess Rao. So, what's troubling you then? Holy cow! <laughs> Okay, like I said, teen rated game. This sister's stacked. Excuse me? Oh, you got a cute little fairy with you. The name's Isun, and by the way, it only looks like I'm. Oh my word. Oh, never mind. Anyway, so you're, ru you're running things around here? Well, there's a funky mist covering the city, and there's talk of a water dragon or something offshore. So what's up with the queen holding herself up in her palace? The people of her city are, are dropping like flies, you know. How can she be so lazy at a time like this? So you sense the evil forces over Ryushima too, then. I heard that the dreaded Orochi was resurrected in Shinshu Field. The brave swordsman vanquished him again. The ripples of those waves of chaos are reaching Ryushima as well. The water dragon terrorizes the sea, and an evil mist covers Seon. And in these last few days, the situation has intensified. I don't know what's happening to our peaceful Nippon. She said something about waves of chaos growing stronger recently. Hmm, a creepy shadow did scurry off when we defeated Orochi. Wonder if whatever it was took root here on Ryushima coast. What are you mother muttering about, Isun? Well, this will no doubt come as quite a shock, but the great slayer of the dreaded Orochi is right before your eyes. Behold, the great Amaterasu! What? This wolf? But I heard it was a swordsman called the Susano. Huh? Oh, uh, well, he may have dealt the final blow, but Ami here did most of the work, I tell ya. And if you don't believe me, Ami's gonna show you some divine powers right here, right now. I am? Am I? I don't- I'm not in the mood. When will I see your friend's divine's powers then, Isun? You want it? You got it, sister. Come on, Ami. Show her one of your celestial brush techniques. Uh, okay. Uh, he's kind of putting me on the spot, man. I would have, like, prepared? I don't know. I'll just power slash all these lamps. What was that? You like it? That was one of Amaterasu's divine powers. He can wiggle- he can wiggle lamps. <laughs> A mere taste of what the Celestial Brush can do. Celestial Brush? What a mysterious and fearsome power you wield, Amaterasu. You got that right, sister. There ain't nothing Ami can't do. Maybe this wolf... Maybe this wolf could help me out with my quest. Your quest? What more could you want? You're all... Oh my... Isun. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Now that, I lo now I that I've lost my prayer slips... The situation is completely hopeless. Come on, tell me what you, tell us what you want. It doesn't matter. Just forget about it. I have many favors I want to ask now that I've seen your powers. But without my prayer slips, there's nothing anyone can do. Prayer slips. By chance are they in here? No, they're not. Okay. That would have been much too easy if they were just right in here. And also, she doesn't seem like the dense type. She seems smart-ish. I mean, well, obviously, she's smart if she has all these scrolls in here. 
Uh, let's talk to her one last time. Uh, she says the same thing, oh, and everyone says the same thing. Of course. So we have nothing to elude what the percepts are or where they might be. No dousing. We just have to... Can we just, like, take one of these pieces of paper, write prayer slips on them, and hand them to her? No? Okay. Well, goodbye, Rao. Uh, it was a pleasure meeting you, and I will see you again, hopefully. Okay. Let's go ahead and explore this area. Uh... Kumuso! Hey, buddy. Uh, oh, you're that white wolf I keep bumping into all over. I am bum I am traveling the land to spread the good teachings of Buddha. There seem to be many places in need of guidance. I can feel it here too. A sincere chill in the air. Concentrate, look hard. You see, right behind you now. So, this is the first time we get to try out Seven Strike, and boy is it a doozy. Uh, we have a Bume and a Krotangu that we need to take down. Also, I just forgot, I forgot that we need to do this in the shortest amount of time possible. So let's do an Exorcism Slip M and go ahead and use Gale Storm. And hopefully take, yes, that worked perfectly. We got to take him down a couple hits, although me just waiting around, I think, kind of blew it, maybe? 4,000 yen, okay. We can now forward that gold dust, which I'll probably buy in between episodes. Humans are not witness to such battles, but I saw it. The fighting went on for exactly 14 seconds. Your performance was most admirable. I've seen you fight many times now. I'm constantly surprised by your incredible strength. Even the great darkness that lies before you is probably nothing that you need to fear. It seems that the, your journey is still not nearing its end. I want you to take this. It will protect you along your way. You obtained Stray Bead. You remember all that time ago in Kamiki Village when I had mentioned how he was part of a side quest much later on? Well, that side quest is now complete. Kamuso, you have served your purpose. We have faced your challenges many times. We have gotten a lot of praise from you. And now you give us a stray bead. Thank you, sir. And goodbye. And we will never see Kamuso again unless we walk by this area again. So, uh, that is going to be it for this episode. We met the lovely Rao, and we finished up Kamuso's side quest, so now he can depart, and we'll probably never see him again. And next episode, we'll, expl we'll explore the majority of the aristocratic quarter to hopefully find the source of the illness that's plaguing these lands. I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. And next, and next time in Okami, we will explore this area. And if you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then tell me how you, I could make next episode so that you would like it. Okay. Bye.